Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be walking you through the map Transit, basically taking you from beginner to pro. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I have some awesome videos coming up, so you're not going to want to miss them. But uh, yeah, let's, let's get started. So what I'm going to do right now is actually I'm going to pick up the parts. This is one of the parts, and what I'm trying to do is actually build a turbine. Instead of buying this door right here, which costs you 750 just build the turbine and you can open up these doors right here and I think Marcus has me covered do you have me covered Marcus oh yeah I've just I got a guy walking around here you can kill him but here's one of the other parts it's at the telephone they're always in the same place for the uh, turbine so just keep in mind that for the other parts for like the bus and stuff a lot of times they're in random spots um, and the final part is this fan piece and then the turbine is made and you are on your way to becoming a pro <laughs> so I'm gonna open up this door with my turbine and a lot of times there's a piece right over here in this instance there is not and I'm gonna lay the door down right I mean the uh, turbine down right here and I'm actually gonna prove a myth you can get on the bus to go on to the uh, next stop but I'm actually gonna run through the fog Marcus you can do whatever <laughs> but I'm actually gonna prove a myth everyone's always scared to go through the fog for some reason so I'm going to disprove this myth that you can't survive in the fog so I'm gonna run to the next bus stop while Marcus does whatever he wants to twiddles his thumbs or something but uh yeah so now we wait I actually have this cool piece coming up somewhere for the uh, wonder weapon jet gun whatever you want to call it so if you actually take a right turn right here this is where usually a piece for the jet gun is or I wonder weapon can't remember what it's called but it's not there today but just uh, if you want to ever get off the bus or if you are running in the mist usually you can find the piece right here but uh, now we wait and kill zombies I guess Marcus do you have anything to riding say? Riding the bus. Yeah. Riding oh. the bus. Riding the bus. I, I could wait. <laughs> I could wait for the bus I guess but those goblins are really ugly. They're like Gollum. <laughs> yeah. If you if you go on the bus there's like actually a gun on there. It's a three shot burst by the way guys. So if you want to pick up that gun you can easily kill these uh, goblins off you by just turning around and shooting them with one shot since it's a three burst. Ah, the zombies. The most nerve wracking thing about this actually is just running through the forest and getting eaten by the zombies. That's the most dangerous part of this. The goblins will never kill you as long as you knife. It's It takes four hits. And if, by the way, if you get the uh, Bowie knife, which is in a secret little place, make sure you check out one of my other videos. I actually show you how to get the Bowie knife. It's in the middle of the forest, fog, whatever. But uh, it actually is a one-shot kill. Oh, and here's a piece for the bus if you want. But actually, there is a better spot to put the piece I just grabbed that not many people know about. Putting it on the bus is really a waste, but if you come in here in this diner, and the problem is you have to save up for it. It costs 6000 to get these brass knuckles that I'm about to show you. But basically, you put the part right here in the diner, you can jump up on this ladder, turn around, and there are the Galva knuckles, or I like to call them brass knuckles. But you have a nice little view up here, but I would not recommend trying to kill zombies up here because they can actually jump up, and you're, you get surrounded very quickly. So just keep that in mind and this place is actually great if you don't know the mystery box is in there I do not have enough money to buy that door and you can't you can't open up this <laughs> You can't open up this door with a turbine. You have to actually buy it Most of the white doors usually you have to buy it but Yeah, I don't have enough money for that stupid thing and to build a zombie shield there are Usually the door piece is right here, but sometimes it's all around this room. You can actually find the door piece right here as well. But I'm going to build a zombie shield now. So this is just one of the parts. It takes only two parts to make the zombie shield. I'm going to come over here and get in the diner. And I'm not going to actually, uh, I want to jump on the bus, but I can't. Actually, let's, uh, let's jump on the bus. Basically, I just picked up the final piece for the uh, zombie show. You just place it over there, but we're going to jump on the bus just to make this tutorial quick. 
If you want to see an individual video, okay, get on the bus. <laughs> if you want to see an individual video on how to make a zombie shield, I have it already on my channel. I'll put it in the link in the description or something. But man, we're cruising through this. Do you have enough money? Yeah, you have enough money to buy that door. Thank God. And this was the, uh, where's the gun? There's, this is the gun I was talking about that kills the, uh, goblins in one shot. If you turn around fast I'm enough. Out of here. Dude, we're gonna get overrun. <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna end this tutorial whenever we turn on the power, because we've really just cruised through this. Usually, what I usually like to do is I like to stay at the mystery box and just keep on swiping out weapons. And, and then let the bus go around once and then get on the bus. That's what I like to do. But since this is a beginner video, I'm trying to walk you guys through this as fast as possible. I don't want it to be an hour long and oh, we are still gonna die. <laughs> Kill him! I don't have enough money for anything. Oh, shoot. I opened the door. I'm not sure if that's a good thing though. Because <laughs> that, that, that increases more zombies. I thought that's what you wanted, Breeze. Uh, no. <laughs> I want to get to the power up room. You need to actually, we need to save up for that. Do you have, you have ammo, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have I can only snipe these zombies right now. I'm so gonna die. You're gonna have to pick me up or something. Okay, one more zombie to kill. Don't you hit me. Oh, thank God. I'll let you knife Oh, get him. Sorry. This is what it's like to be on the ground dead. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna get that gun in here. Just for the safety. This is a nice action gun. And by the way, for some reason a lot of people don't aim for the head. If you're new to zombies, if you get headshots, it actually gives you more points. So... Just if you have the chance to aim for the head, then do that. And also, knifing gives you more points as well. So, on the first rounds, that's why you see people take two shots into zombies and then knife them, because that gives the maximum points. And I'm not sure if this is a myth or not, but supposedly, if you get on the bus and just stay on here, a lot of times it will go. Like, see how he starts talking? For some reason, whenever everyone gets on the bus, or just one person does and closes the door and just stays in the bus, it usually goes by faster, it feels like. But that's not, I haven't proven that. Just kind of something that seems to work for some reason. These windows. Yeah. Oh, it's on the bus. There's actually a piece for the front right here that will block any zombies from coming in on the front which is nice if you can ever find that it's a, just a massive grill for the uh, for the front of the bus Ugh. and if you get off right here which I'm not going to there's actually a secret place I have a video tutorial on that already so I won't go through that but it's like a secret little building in this farm area must kill zombies Oh, Ooh, double point. Don't you dare jump out on me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, Marcus. All right, so uh, Marcus is actually going to buy where I can. Oh, gosh, I got out way too early. <laughs> That's okay. All right, guys, we are back. And sorry about that. Don't kill that zombie, by the way. <laughs> the stupid bus got in the way. But uh, we're going to. This is actually where you go to get the power. And I'm going to open up this door. And what you do is you just find the parts around here. So, let's see. There's no parts right here. So here's one piece. This is definitely a part of that other thing that I saw And that. a lot of times the zombie arm will be over there, which it's not. But uh, just look for over there if, if you can't find the zombie arm, which that's where a lot of people struggle. I think actually, Marcus, you're going to have to kill it whenever I get this final piece. For this. You can come down here, by the way. You don't have to stop. Oh, no, I'll just keep... I'll just keep circling them. You do your thing. Okay. And this is the uh, second piece. And now I need to find the zombie arm, which I think... Oop, it's right there. Never mind. I've seen it bug out where you actually have to kill a zombie for the zombie arm to lay down. But I'm going to turn on the power now. That's all you had to do to turn on the power. It's really that simple. Just find all the pieces in this room. They're always here. 
I just got locked in the bottom downstairs part. Oh, <laughs> you have to circle them now? <laughs> so, what you guys can do, you can you guys can wait for this door to open. It will automatically open with the power, or you can use your turbine to open this one, by the way. If you are in a rush to get away from all the zombies. But yeah, guys, that's really all I had to say in this video. Make sure you check out my other zombie tutorial videos that are a little bit more complex. I didn't want to do them all in one video. This is just from a video for you to go from basically a beginner to kind of pro where you understand how transit works and stuff. So yeah, hopefully this helped you out. I'll link to my other zombie tutorials in the description of this video, so make sure you check them out. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I have some awesome content coming up related to zombies. You really not, you're not going to want to miss it. It's pretty awesome. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Also, like the video if you haven't. Uh, that would be awesome. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I will talk to you all later. Thanks.